Hi, in this How To Stats video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a one sample t test in SPSS. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this test in two, uh, on two different data sets using the same technique because I think in the first uh, example, uh, it's not very realistic, but it's often the t test is often described in this context. Whereas in the second scenario, you actually do see the one sample t-test used in that case. And uh, I think it's important to show both. So in the first case, uh, in this one sample t-test, the researcher is interested in testing the hypothesis that this group of people, of which there are 35, uh, have an IQ mean value that's greater than the population. And in the population, we know the mean IQ is 100 based on a lot of different IQ tests. In fact, they just use their normative databases and create uh, a, a distribution such that it will have a mean of 100. That's a separate issue. But in this case here, people would say, perform a one sample t-test on data where, you, where the comparison group, which is the population, the mean is known but the standard deviation is unknown. When you know the standard deviation and the, uh, and the mean in the population, you should do a one sample Z test. And I have a video on the one sample Z test as well, and actually how to do it in SPSS. So in this case here, we want to test the hypothesis that IQ has a mean greater than 100. And let's just look at the mean. Uh, to see what it is. So we're going to go to frequencies, IQ, and statistics, and the mean is equal to, oops, I didn't actually click on this, on the statistics, yeah, I clicked on mean, I guess I didn't actually see it there. Let's get rid of the frequency table. Okay, there's the mean, 105. And there's a sample size, it's based on a sample size of 35. And the hypothesis is that this 105 mean value will be greater than 100. So go into Analyze, Compare Means, and One Sample T-Test, and put IQ into the test variables, and for test value, put 100. So this is the population value, 100. Uh, the standard deviation isn't known, so it's going to be estimated based on the on the IQ data, which is equal to a sample size of 35, and click OK. So in this case here, we have a mean of 105, which we looked at before, and the standard deviation is actually equal to 15. Now, is this mean value greater than the test value of 100? And the significance level, the p-value, is equal to 0 0.057, which is not statistically significant. In order for it to be statistically significant, it would have to be greater than, it would have to be lesser than 0 0.05. So the t-value is 1.97, degrees of freedom are 34, and significance level 0 0.057, which is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the sample mean is equal to the population mean of 100. So it's not big enough of a difference to be declared statistically significant based on this one sample uh, t-test. So this IQ group, uh, this sample of people is from the normal population